Hey everyone, I wanted to show you a few simple ways to unsubscribe from unwanted emails. And if your inbox looks like mine, you probably get unwanted emails almost every single day between your different inboxes. Between work and personal, I get promotional emails, newsletters, things that I just don't want in my mailbox and takes a lot of time for me throughout my day to just go ahead and unsubscribe manually. So in this video, I wanna mention three different ways to unsubscribe from unwanted emails so you don't actually have to spend every single day doing this in your mailbox. Now, the most common option is you could look through a footer of your emails and look for the word unsubscribe. Now, most people unsubscribe using this method, but it is manual. You have to press unsubscribe and manually remove yourself from a list as soon as you get that unwanted email. Now, this process is very manual and it is time consuming, so you have to stay on top of it and manually do this every single day. And there are times where emails just won't have the word unsubscribe in the footer or give you an option, even though they're supposed to, some emails won't have that option in the footer to make it easy to unsubscribe. Another way to unsubscribe from emails is using a filter in Gmail. And I've used this before, but you basically look for the word unsubscribe in emails using this filter. And what this does is it takes those and it deletes them automatically for you. Any email that has the word unsubscribe, the filter will take care of it for you. Now, this option is pretty good for personal emails, but sometimes it filters the wrong email. So I try to not use it for my work email because I have lost a couple of important emails from time to time. But it is an option and it is free option through the Gmail filter. Now, the third option is using websites and platforms that will take care of this for you, like clean email. With clean email, you could sign up with just one of your email addresses or multiple email addresses, and it will filter things for you like newsletter and promotional emails, and it will give you a very easy option to unsubscribe. And you could even use a pause option, which will be a temporary solution if you just want to stop those emails for the time being, but not permanently unsubscribe. Now, there are plenty of free services too that promise to do this for you, but the problem with free services that do this is there's a privacy issue and there's a monetization issue because the way they make money is they sell your personal data. So I personally don't want someone to go through my emails and see the content and obviously sell that personal information, so I don't like to use any of those free services myself. There are platforms like Unroll Me and CleanFox, so if you don't mind that, those are options for you as well. Now, platforms like clean email, security and privacy is really, really important. And the way clean email works is they actually never look at the content of your email. They don't read through your email. They don't look at any attachments. They basically just analyze the header of your email. So your subject, the sender, and they analyze that only, not the content of the email, which I really care about keeping private because it is very sensitive information, especially when I'm using it for work. So to use clean email, you log into your account and you'll see a very clear icon that shows unsubscribe without you doing any manual work. And once you go through this list and unsubscribe from anything that shows up here that you don't wanna be part of, any unwanted email here, you'll also be able to see all your unsubscribe emails in one place to make sure you didn't accidentally unsubscribe from something that you didn't want to. And I'll go ahead and put a 10% off discount code in the description below this video to clean email as well. And that's pretty much it with clean email. Every few days I will check back to make sure I'm not getting more unwanted emails. And if I do, I'll just go to that unsubscribe folder and I'll unsubscribe to make sure I don't get them in the future or pause them if I just want to pause this process for a little bit of time. So hopefully you could utilize some of these methods to unsubscribe from unwanted emails. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you on the next video.